Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in this month. This month I'm going to talk to you about the new rules coming into play July 1st uh, with CMHC mortgages and we're going to deep dive a little bit into what we've been seeing since quarantine rules eased up. So diving right in, uh, CMHC has made an announcement that as of July 1st, it's going to become a little bit more difficult to get a mortgage if you plan to put less than 20% down. So here's a couple of the things they're doing. First thing that they're doing is they are changing the minimum credit score requirements from 600 to 680. So if your score is hovering around that mark, it might be more difficult for you to obtain a mortgage. The second thing that they're doing is they're no longer allowing you to borrow money in order to get an insured mortgage. So again, this could hurt a lot of people who are looking for that borrowed money as a down payment. And lastly, the third thing that they're doing is they're changing two ratios, your gross debt service ratio and your total service debt ratio. So what this is changing to is your gross debt service ratio is going from 39% down to 35 and your total service ratio is going from 44 to 42%. This might not seem like a big change, but it actually is in the grand scheme of things because a lot of people do not have a lot of debt, especially first time home buyers. So if you're looking to buy a home and it's a little bit higher than what you can afford, you're going to notice this change in percentage. Um, but hopefully if you can put that 20% down, you'll be able to avoid all this. So what this has been really doing is driving a lot of competition in certain areas under the $1 million mark um, or even a little bit above that as well. People are really frantic to buy homes before that July 1st deadline. So we have been seeing a rise, uh, especially in Leslieville of all areas. Uh, there's been a lot of home prices that are going for quite a bit higher than they should. We're hoping that things might slow down a little bit once this new rule comes into place, but at the same time, I personally am not super hopeful of this, just because after everything that's happened with coronavirus, I've talked to a lot of clients who are very eager to move. They've been in condos in close quarters with their spouses or significant others, and they're ready to finally get that place that they can call home um, and get more space. So this is the problem, is that people who were looking prior to COVID who couldn't find anything for these past couple months are really ready now. And then you've also got more people looking now that have just started. So there's a lot of demand as n and not as much inventory when it comes to housing. Condos are a bit different. We've got more inventory than we've had in a long time. Uh, main reason for this, of course, is investors. A lot of investors are selling their properties, um, mainly due to what happened with Airbnb and just the uncertainty moving forward. Rental prices continue to remain lower. Um, it continues to remain somewhat challenging to rent out your home if you own a condo. But in terms of what we've seen price-wise on non-cookie cutter condos, uh, lofts, etc., these homes are still really holding their value. Um, there's still offer nights happening across the board, and yeah, we're, we're not seeing a slowdown in pricing um, on the worthwhile homes, I guess I should put it as. Anyway, if you have any questions about anything I've said, please feel free to email me as always. Uh, have a great day. Bye.